So to install an evil eye or a fat bob fairing is extremely simple. We have these two piece clamps. This is the back half, front half, a couple of small Allen bolts go through this and into this after the fairing is set in place. And after those we set, we get these little Allen bolts in here and then we cinch up these little cable ties at the bottom of the fairing. This is how you install the fairing, whether it's an evil eye or a fat knob. Simply slip it in place underneath the top triple tree and there it's set in place. Now we'll take these clamps with a couple of little Allen bolts, cinch them up from the back side and just snug them up and then we'll go to the cable ties on the bottom. So now I've got the clamps all tightened up, the two Allen bolts there on each side. And now the next thing I want to do is just cinch up these little cable ties. So we take these simple little cable ties right here, snap it in place, zip it up, and it doesn't really need to be any tighter than, than you can do with your hand. And then what you can do is you can either clip off this excess or you can just take it and roll it around to the front like this to make the end inconspicuous and it's done. That's all there is to it. And here's a shot of the fairing completely installed with the mounts, our steel mounts with the Allen bolts in them on both sides. You can see that the headlight is very nicely centered in this fairing. This is the evil eye fairing. I did custom paint this one for a great friend of mine because I did the original custom paint on this bike about four years ago. So he needed someone who could do a dead on match to the flame work. And that's what the Evil Eye looks like on a Dyna.